Namaste from Techram and Nanda have here the Oppo F7 one of the first devices in Android world to come with the notched design. In this video I am going to talk about the Oppo F7 features tips and tricks. The Oppo F7 runs on Android Oreo with a color UI layered upon. Now let's take a look at the various features it comes with. Oppo F7 comes with the on-screen navigation keys and you can also hide the keys when you don't need. You can also change the keys to a swipe gesture navigation and it's very easy once you get used to so there won't be any navigation keys but uh, three lines like this and you can use gesture actions for going back to home screen or to the recent menus or to back options. In the smart and convenient settings there is an option called assistive ball and you can operate it via gesture as well as tap. So you can use the gesture like tap for back, double tap for multitasking and touch and hold to go back to the home screen. Alternately there is also a tap menu option. When you enable and tap it you get the shortcuts to back, screenshot, multitasking, lock screen and home. There is an option called full screen multitasking. So when you are watching a movie in the full screen and you want to quickly access uh, certain apps like your messenger apps or you want a certain quick functions like record screen, screen capture or block notification you can just pull from the edge on the notch area and you get the options over there. And there are certain gesture actions. So screen of gestures are there, double tap to turn screen on or you can uh, do certain gestures to launch the apps directly. So you can draw O to camera, V to torchlight. You can also have your certain uh, actions for launching a certain apps of some function. There are also certain smart call options say like when there's an incoming call you can lift the phone to your ear and it automatically connects or you are near in a contact page you can lift the phone to your uh, ear connect the call flip to mute for incoming call so there are certain smart call options. There is an also an option to raise the phone to turn on the screen and there is a three finger screenshot and you can also take a long screenshot. There is an option called security so let's see what are the features there. There is also something called kid space. So uh, these days most of the parents leave their phone to the kids for them uh, to spend the time. So you can choose the duration allowed for each use. And you can also choose the apps which you want the kids to access when you are handing the phone to them. Uh, so uh, this is a very nice space. So give the phone to them. You can choose the apps you want them to access. There is also something called private space. Uh, you, so you can secure this private space and you can have your photos or audios, documents or other files in it so that without uh, in your access with the password, nobody can access those pictures. So from the photo gallery album, you can move certain pictures, photos to this private uh, space. Uh, private safe so that uh, nobody can access when they go through the gallery. The fingerprint sensor is very fast and accurate in Oppo F7 and with your fingerprint sensor you can unlock the phone, you can app lock and you can also secure the private safe with your fingerprint sensor. Face recognition works uh, fairly well on Oppo F7 and apart from unlocking the phone you can also secure your apps and the private space with your face so you can app lock and uh, private safe lock with your face. The UI also supports clone dual apps so you can clone Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp so you can have two apps at the same time running parallelly in the phone. So there's a game mode which is more like a D&D &D mode so when you're playing a game so you can have a uh, undisturbed gameplay. The phone also supports split screen so you can swipe with your three fingers from bottom to up and the screen gets splitted and you can multitask. There is also support for call recording so you can uh, record the calls from certain particular designated numbers or you can record all unknown numbers or you can record all the practically all the calls. What I really liked about this phone is that there is a dedicated screen recording option. So when you are playing a game, you can make sure that your gameplay is recorded, um, which I found it to be really good. So it uh, records on full HD also. So all your gameplay can be recorded, which I really liked and wish all the phones has this screen recording option built in. When you swipe to the right, you find a board, which is called Smart Assistant Board. 
and uh, again i like this screen so you can have the list of apps that you frequently use on top it gives you the weather information it has a step tracker it also adds the events to this portion so that you can quickly keep an eye on the events you have to have follow up and also the favorite or contacts can be added here so that you can instantly call your favorite contacts from over here so this is a smart assistant board but in case you don't like it of course you can go to the settings and disable it so these are the various features tips and tricks you can avail on the oppo f7 so what do you think about this device and the features do share your thoughts in the comment section and if you like this video give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel this is lesh madan signing off at tech and have a great day cheers